planting flowers and being goofy and silly together is almost as important, if not more so. What starts as a simple tulip bulb will by spring blossom into a hope garden of over 100 yellow tulips and in a way help end the mental health stigma. Our goal will be to instill not just resources and how do people figure out how to get resources if they need help, but also hope that there's a way to make it through it when it's dark. Melissa, you need one? Yes, ma'am. Although this planting project might look like an opportunity to skip class. I found two more worms. For some, it's a way to build hope. We're, we're not asking them anything personal today. We're just planting flowers together. But what it does is it builds connection. Students are given the opportunity to be okay, talking about what some deem as uncomfortable topics. Demonstrating to students that they're not going to get in trouble for disclosing that they are worried about their own mental health or someone else they care about. As an educator, as a parent, as a community member, it's really, it's a really wonderful opportunity for our kids and for our community. Not just planting flowers, but also seeds of hope and connection that could be someone saving grace. I'd hate to see like several kids or adults or, or like other teenagers dying due to mental health and then not having resources. I feel like everyone should have someone to talk to to help them out with this, especially someone like myself who has gone through mental health. It's definitely a good thing to have someone there to even talk to. In Deer Isle, Doug Banks, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.